Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and today I am returning finally to survive the night. So, thank you ever so much for the support in the last video on survive the night. So, I was waiting for some updates to be dropped before I jumped back in to try it out again. Um, and I think now is just about the time. Um, they released uh, right up to 8 point something patch, I believe. Um, there's got some fortification stuff going on as well. Um, so, let's uh, browse this and see what ping we've got. Experimental branch, stable branch. That's the one that we're going to go into. There's only one player in this, but we'll go into this anyway. I don't think there's going to be many players there as it currently stands. I'm not entirely sure how many people are actually playing this game right now, to be quite frankly honest. I do think that it um, it might be a really good game later on. The graphics on it are pretty, pretty damn good. So, Right. Here we are. Day one. Oh wow, I forgot how sensitive the mouse is on this game. Oh, we're like next to a big massive place. I wonder if there's loads of zombies down there. Let's start by going down these houses here. Now, we might get some frame lag and stuff. It's something that I've witnessed before in this game. Um, some stuttering. And uh, yeah, it's, it's normal. Um, if it shows on the recording badly, then I do apologize. Uh, but there's not really too much that I can do about it, unfortunately. It is an early access game after all. So let's go into these houses down here and see if we can find anything decent. Doubtful, but it's always worth a try. Ah, oh, no. Zombie straight away. Yeah, I'd mind them, but pegged. I know you're there, buddy. I can only punch you right now. I can't actually know whether he's realised that I'm here. Oh. Is the server timing out or something here? Because there's a lot of lag going on. Can we climb in the window? I'm not sure whether it's coming at me. Oh, here we go, you see me. I don't know how much it takes to kill these guys, but it looks like they can kill me a lot before than I can kill them. Unfortunately. There you get down, stay down. Can we get anything off him now? Got a large workbench. Gas me to break a panel. Okay, what have we got? This is what we've got in our inventory. We've got water bottle, hammer, nails, wood axe. What the wood axe? That'd be good for chopping zombies with, right? So that's something new. You never, you never started with a wood axe before. Close that door. See what's in this trunk? Absolutely nothing. Have a look. Ooh, machete, a clinchester. Is a clinchester a weapon? Oh no, it's a machete. No, that's that's not what I picked up, right? Oh my god, it's a gun. We found a gun. Why you would call it a clinchester is beyond me. Okay, so we can use that mattress to log in and out. We've got some four or five rounds, so I don't know whether this actually takes four or five rounds. Let's let's see. No ammo for this gun in your inventory. So we've got a couple of bullets for it.
I think I'm going to equip the machete because we don't really want to be using the bullets. Unless we're in dire straits. I do think that they need to change the way that this works. So what we've got here. Players and a siphon. It's going to be night already. Which isn't great for me. Now, this is pretty dark for me, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably won't translate very well onto YouTube. I will try and brighten it up when I edit the videos for you guys. Bandages? Yeah, I'll take those. More wooden cabinets, the gauze wrap in there. Nothing in the bathroom sink. Now, the question is. Do we just hold ourselves up in the bathroom right now? So this is pretty exposed with all the windows open and everything like that, whereas I don't think the bathroom's got any windows. And the idea of the game is to stay alive at night, right? Alright guys, so I've been in here a while. I've not heard anything or anyone. Zombie wise. I've got my trusty machete now. Well, I say trusty, I've not, never used it, but. Then nothing, right? So I'm gonna run over to this house over here. Oh, there's a zombie right there. Okay. That's fine. Can we go in the back here? Die here. There we go, kill him. I'm never very injured right now though. I'm gonna go in here. We can't hide in here? God damn it, game. Okay, we'll hide in here. Large workbench. Alright, let's see about bandages. I don't want to use the gauze wrap, do I? The other thing is, as well, like, I need some uh, food, I think to get my health up. Okay, so there's a zombie right outside. And with the amount of health that we currently have. Probably not a great idea that we go out and fight him. I think it might be getting light again now anyway, which should be good. Okay. Uh oh, he's coming. He wanted. Oh, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. Um. I think I could try and kill him. This is gonna be hard. Oh, there we go. Screw you, big guy. Right, okay. First things first, let's use the gauze. Got 31 health. Oh, I just increased my health to like 95 because we used the gauze. That's alright then. Gauze is king. What we got in this house? I'm ready for anyone this time.
so you're not gonna say no, nothing no, nothing in the small cabinets. No point in searching now. Go with the zombie. Is that guy dead? Nothing in the computer. This, these guys literally have nothing in their house. Like literally nothing. Oh, what was that? Stones. Okay, we'll take some stones, thanks. Ooh, 308 rounds. I do believe that that's what the Clinchester takes. Maybe that's so useful after all. Uh, useless after all, should I say. Nothing. 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 Right, well that's a big load of nothing right there. I need food. And that's where we came from. This is the second house we went to. Let's head into the town. Get our rifle out. Yeah. Now we have a gun. Can we actually set that to to have a three lineup light? Four Clinchester. Five machete, okay. So four is the gun, five is the machete. Where are you, heathen? There's a big fat one. Get him! Not taking no prisoners this time. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We've got bedroll in here. Oh, here we go. Food. Loads of stuff in a can. Uh, a wrench and a rice box. And a cat food. Oh, there's a siphon there. I don't know what they're for. We'll take them anyway. Nails and scissors and nails. This future is in development. Okay, you keep hold of your secrets. God oh, damn you. Foot locker, nothing in it. Another foot locker. Large flashlight and a wooden baseball bat. We'll take those. In the wooden dresser. Nothing in the nightstand. Right. Was there somewhere else? We didn't search back here, did we? Nothing in the computer desk. Nothing in the nightstand. Ooh. We can have fires in this game. That's cool. Well, let me open the door then. Um. One zombie over there. I know we get a bit of lag now because of the map rack. You found map. Quantity one. Map. Use a compass to show your position on the map. Well, I don't think we have a compass right now. Yep, no compass. Now I'm presuming if I use the um, the gun, it's going to obviously attract a lot of zombies towards me, right? I'm not going to use it. Down into. I'm getting a lot of frame drop now, but it's probably just because we're in this big town. Like I say, guys, it is an alpha. Oh, we've got some blade outside. I don't know whether she's going to try and come in through. Or we're just going to kill her. 
Oh wow, she's really taking some hits. She really beat me up. Let's see. Oh, 69 health. I think somebody might be out there. Washing machine. Dryer. These are the boring bits, guys, so you gotta search through stuff. Oh, big guy. There we go, that's him down. Nothing in there, let's go upstairs. I'm not sure how easy these guys would be to defend, or these houses rather. What have we got up here? Chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup. Oh dear me. Wooden dresser. Lola and Gary Iron. Zoom in, that's fun, right? So now we have two guns. This delights me very much though. Third bedroom in here. Nothing in that. We've got a chest as well. Large LED. We've already got a machete we're going to take it and a baseball bat actually but we're going to take him anyway. Just because any kind of weapon right now is useful and they do blunt and break over time. So, I would say we're doing a lot better than we did last time on this game, that's for sure. Alright, let's go to the is it the house next door. Close the door as always, makes it harder for zombies to get in. Although they can still climb through the windows, which is a bit annoying. Combat knife. Okay, we'll take that as well. We're going to be getting pretty full soon, surely. I'm presuming that you can find uh, clothes in those. Oh, here we go. We've got some food in there. Firecrackers. Distraction tools, I would presume. Right, let's see what our Lola and Gary Iron done. The Clinchester still on four. Maybe it's in order that they go in here. Why can we not move them up the order? No, we're going to have to remember that Lola and Gary Iron is on number eight. Oh wow, I don't even know what bullets that takes. Oh, it takes 0.45 bullets, I think we've... Have we already got some of those? No, yeah, we've already got 4 or 5 rounds. Loaded 4 out of 8. Can we reload it? Nice. Right, so we've got our Clinchester, we've got our Gary Iron, we've got our Machete, we've got our Baseball Bats. I'd say that we're doing pretty well, guys. Somebody's upstairs in this house. Here he is. There we go, he's down.
Okay, that door doesn't want to close. I think if you look at the capacity when it tells you, I don't think you actually have to open stuff that's got nothing in it. I've only just figured this out. Not six, not six, one of four. There you go, you see? Now we're learning. Three of 18, let's see what else it's got in it. Light lighter, radiator, fan. They're car parts. Why am I still searching them? No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. One of 18. We've got a machete in the fridge. That's weird. Uh, what was in here? Nails. Could always do with nails, apparently, in this game. Uh, so that's the kitchen searched. That's got two things in it. We've got five million flashlights now. There's a guy right there. Can't close those doors. Yeah, that's another one down. Can't close those doors, that's weird. Uh, we don't need that one. Nope, nothing in that one. Nothing in that. It's bedroll. Oh, I got an empty water bottle. A lot of car parts in this house. I don't know why I just did that. See what's in the bathroom. Nothing, nothing. They really do with some first aid. Three or four, let's see what's in this. Nine mil, twelve gauge, and a lighter. Uh, how much inventory have we filled up? We're carrying 88.4 right now. We've got loads of stuff. Uh, wind up light, we'll keep that. We can eat these straight away. Let's do that. Mattress. Should we try one of the guns out on this guy? I'm really tempted to get the uh, pistol out. Might be causing a big ruckus here. Nice shot. It was very loud though. Oh wow. Um I really should have concentrated on, on my dehydration. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that was my own forgetfulness that uh, caused me to die there, nothing else. We had so much stuff as well. Oh, I'm going to spawn somewhere else completely different now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we are going to end this episode here. Um, sorry that it's a little bit weird uh, today. Um, I've uh, sort of 
recorded quite a lot um, of this particular sort of series and um, the only way for me to, to really do it properly is to break it up uh, into a couple of episodes uh, which is what I'm doing um, the next Survive the Nights episode will be up uh, in the next couple of weeks for you to uh, to go watch guys so keep your eye out for that in the meantime if you have indeed enjoyed watching this video then please do leave a like on the video um, any comments that you have leave them in the comments section down below it's always appreciated and I will always respond to them for you and lastly, if you've not already done so, if this is the first time that you have visited my channel, then please do sub, okay? I really need the subs right now. It's much appreciated. And uh, also, just uh, click the bell icon so you know when I am releasing new content. Anyway, guys, with that being said, until the next one, peace out.